Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we are taking an underhood tour, an overview, if you will, of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R, the most powerful Honda Civic in history. The Honda Civic Type R is the most powerful and fastest production Honda vehicle ever offered in the United States, packing 306 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque between 2,500 and 4,500 RPM. The 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which in spite of its high output status and bright red cover, is preciously labeled Earth Dreams and built by Honda North America. It's then shipped to Swindon, England, where the Civic Type R is assembled. Airflow starts up front at a large air inlet behind the grill and into the filter box located at the driver's side front. From there it heads across the bay and directly into a small diameter, low mass, single swirl turbocharger with a computer controlled electronic wastegate. The boosted charge of up to 23.2 psi travels down low to the high capacity air to air intercooler mounted down below the bumper and then around back of the engine to the drive by wire throttle body and composite intake manifold. The air flows into combustion chambers with a relatively low 9.8 to 1 compression ratio. Inner bits of the aluminum block engine are beefed up, including a super lightweight forged steel crankshaft and connecting rods. The aluminum block features cast iron cylinder liners as well. The valve train features both variable cam timing and valve lift, a system long known famously as VTEC. This VTEC, however, differs from the old as it only varies valve lift for the exhaust valves and does so in the mid range of the rev band instead of the high end as in previous naturally aspirated engines. This pushes more exhaust flow into the turbocharger at lower revs for increased mid-range torque and responsiveness. With the engine redline at 7,000 RPM, it doesn't need the open breathing profile of the VTEC engines of yesteryear. The exhaust manifold is cast directly into the cylinder head and therefore water-cooled, allowing the turbocharger to bolt right to it, which reduces losses, weight, and cools the flow for better tuning possibilities. While somewhat exotic in Honda land, servicing the Civic Type R is rather ordinary. The oil filler cap and dipstick are located at the top of the engine in plain sight. No need to pluck off the engine cover to get to them. The coolant reservoir is located on the passenger side of the engine compartment near the outer fender. To the left of that, the windshield washer fluid reservoir. At the rear wall, ahead of the driver is the reservoir for the brake fluid. To the right of it is the 12 volt battery with easy access. Further up front, is the main fuse box which can be opened by releasing tabs. A fuse removal tool is provided inside the lid. The air filter box is found up front where changing out the filter does require a little bit of extra effort, easiest by removing the rubber snorkel first to allow the box to be opened up. Lastly, if you've looked at the air scoop on the hood and thought it was for the air intake, you'd be wrong. The air instead is routed through a trough at the bottom of the hood to the sides of the engine bay where it's drawn out through the fender side vents. This arrangement helps to draw hot air out of the engine compartment for better cooling. All right, my friends, there you have it for our underhood tour of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R. This is the last year for the current generation Type R and all new Civic comes out next year and then sometime down the way, perhaps a new Type R. Until then, Click right here, see my latest video, or better yet, click right here and subscribe to TDTV Garage.